what big idea you got this morning, son? Well, I'd like to build a solar thermal rocket powered boat. A solar thermal rocket powered boat. Right. <laughs> this weekend, we're gonna build a solar powered rocket engine. Spacecraft need two things, fuel and an energy source. Both are really heavy and really expensive, unless your rocket is solar powered. Any space voyage between the Earth and the sun could use concentrated sunlight to create the energy source. And for the fuel, all you need is water. Heat it with the sun and you've got your thrust. But I could tell the guys were still skeptical. And uh, you could just fly out to Mars, refill it up with the water that's there, and then, and then use that to come back. The space industry has created a lot of designs for solar rockets before the distant future, but the concept is much simpler than most people think. And this weekend, we're gonna prove it. Instead of testing a spacecraft, well, I got an idea. That's what we'll do, and we'll mount it on the back of Daddy's fishing boat and see if we can push it around. I was all for this project until I heard, use Daddy's fishing boat. So we need to find a sunny day and a pond and then all the stuff to build a rocket in it. Why don't we head on back over to Daddy's and conquer this thing? All right. Here, you get that tent. Right. That is a nice truck, Charlie. <laughs> you know, we sure don't have much sunshine right now. So we're back at Pawpaw's, and I soon realized with all these clouds in the sky, it's gonna be tough to generate solar energy. So maybe Mother Nature will cooperate with us later on. Well, we'll do what we can do, and maybe we'll get sunlight tomorrow or later in the day. Now, to make our solar-powered rocket engine, we're going to fill up a small vessel with water and put a pressure release valve on it. Then we'll use a satellite dish covered with some reflective material to bounce sunlight onto the tank, boiling the water inside and creating steam. Then we open the pressure release valve, the steam spews out in one direction, and hopefully propels our boat in the other. Well, is there any way we can do it on a small scale, just a test or something before we go to all that work? Well, how about a Coke bottle? I always like making rockets out of Coke bottles. We'd probably need a, I need a way to put air in this thing, Michael. Look at that. There you go. Oh, oh. So that's what we use for pressurization. Now I need the nozzle hole. <laughs> then we gotta put a diaphragm right here. We need something like a piece of saran wrap or some latex or uh... Hey, what about them not, what about them gloves right here? That's perfect. That's what we keep scissors for. All right, so put some air in and see what it does. All right, so we got air in there, and then we're gonna replace the sunlight with the heat gun, and when the pressure gets hot enough in there, the air expands some more, and then hopefully there's enough pressure, it goes out the nozzle and it will accelerate the rocket forward. It's gonna go. Look at it sweating. Oh, yeah! Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> That's exactly what I'm talking about right there. Whoa. That was cool right there.